hapo awali lakini itakujia kwenye muda usokuwa mrefu tukiachana na hayo ama tukisubiri taarifa hiyo basi wagombea urais wa chama cha mawakili nchini LSK wameahidi kuzidi kupigania ama kupigana na ufisadi ambao unazidi kulemaza idara mbalimbali nchini wakizungumza kwenye mjadala wa siku ya Jumatano jijini Nairobi wagombea hao pia wamelalamikia tishio la kuingiliwa kati kwa uchaguzi wa chama hicho na serikali namna anavoripoti mwanahabari Catherine Oise ni mjadala uliowahusisha wagombea wote watano wa urais wa chama cha LSK baada ya kuhidhinishwa na kamati ya kuandaa uchaguzi huo. Naibu mwenyekiti wa chama cha mawakili nchini Faith Odhiambo ni mmoja wapo wa wagombea watano wanaowania kiti cha urais wa chama cha mawakili nchini LSK. Members of the law society do not be duped, do not be fooled. We are a bar that is of a gold standard. Let, let us not allow any external forces to affect our elections. Let us vote for leaders who will work for us, leaders who will stand for us. Keep quiet, Bernard Ngitich, ni mgombea. Nitapigana na ofisadi katika idara ya mahakama, katika wizara mbalimbali na katika taasisi mbalimbali ya serikali. Na tatu ni kwamba nitahakikisha kwamba mawakili wakubwa wala wakatikati wala ambao ni vijana wako na nafasi nzuri kuweza kufanya kazi yako yao na kuhakikisha kwamba taaluma yao ya wanasheria inaendelea vizuri katika idara ya mahakama katika taasisi ya usajili ya mashamba katika taasisi ya usajili ya makampuni na katika zile kazi zingine kama mediation Harriet Njoki Mboshi vile vile anawania kumridhi mwenyekiti Eric Theory For the first time in more than 20 years in the history of this country we are finding ourselves in a situation where there is unprecedented encroachment on the rule of law the only way you can safeguard the rule of law is by making sure of that we safeguard the independence of the bar Peter Manyonge wanyama hamgombea akisisitiza umuhimu wa kuheshimu na kufuata kanuni za sheria At the moment the legal sector in Kenya is facing tremendous and significant challenges so we need a law society of Kenya president that is able to engage structurally with the parliament and the executive arm of government to ensure that we are able to pass the laws that protect legal practice Aliyekuwa naibu mwenyekiti wa chama cha LSK mwaka wa 2020 hadi mwaka 2022 Caroline Kamende Daudi pia anawania to ensure that there is accountability and transparency in the management of the affairs of the law society of Kenya fourth is to establish uh, structures Uh, that are sustainable in members welfare and the fifth is to ensure that there is efficiency in member services Chama hicho cha LSK kinakusudia kuandaa kufanya uchaguzi huo tarehe 27 mwezi huu Oise Catherine Kate News Nairobi Asante sana Oise kwa taarifa hiyo ambayo tuleza